Word up, people. So we're going to watch some more comedy today. Today, we're moving, we're moving to something different. If this is your first time checking out the channel, the quick version of what's happened is I reacted to one Norm MacDonald video, got obsessed, kept watching stuff. So we have a Norm MacDonald play playlist, and through that whole experience, people then recommended Rodney Dangerfield. I recognize this guy. Uh, seen him in some, like, I think he was on Little Nicky. Right, so I, re I recognize who this guy is, but, uh, yeah, never checked out his stand-up. So excited to check it out. Purpose of the channel is for us to, you know, the reason we do this on the treadmill is to encourage you to walk some more. And we're also exposing our stuff, ourselves to uh, to new things. And comedy has just been the more enjoyable one. So thank you for the recommendations. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes, the discussions, the suggestions. And I hope you feel encouraged. Viewer, whatever you're going through, you got this. All right. Go team. Excited to check this out, baby. Um, and while I get that ready, links in the description to find me on social media or find my wife's uh, workout program for your significant others. Uh, she specializes in women, by the way. All that jazz. All right, cool. Let's go. Rodney Dangerfield. Non-stop one-liners with Johnny Carson. Let's see what we got. Man. Music is smooth. What a crowd, what a crowd. You know, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, Those eyes just pop out, don't they? Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, tonight it's, tonight it's nice. We've got a grown-up crowd, too, you know? Yeah, I did a show last week for a bunch of teenagers. And these kids carry on today, you can't tell boys from girls. I mean, the girls don't wear slacks, <laughs> fellas let their hair grow. I was talking to somebody, I said, look at that teenager, what's that, a boy or a girl? He said, that's a boy, that's my son. I said, sure, you knew you're his father. He said, I'm not his father, I'm his mother. <laughs> I don't know, I'll tell you, life isn't easy. <laughs> Dude, he couldn't say that joke today, could he? More. Well, the other day I was in my bank, they got signs all over there. At this bank, you have a friend. Last month, I was two payments behind. My friend took away my car. <laughs> I tell you, with me, nothing comes easy, nothing, you know? Well, last week, I saw my dentist. Not a beauty, my dentist. I said to him, can you put in a new tooth to match my other teeth? He put in a tooth with four cavities. <laughs> yeah, man, he's just... Well, I'll tell you he's like a, a smoother Mitch Hedberg. Maybe, you know, maybe this is one of Mitch Hedberg's heroes, right? This is great. The last week was a rough week for me, you know, last week. I broke up my psychiatrist, too, last week. For the first time, I told him I got suicidal tendencies. He told me from now on, I have to pay in advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first time I saw a psychiatrist, I felt like two cents. I was a kid. I said to him, Doc, can you help me? All day long, he's thinking I'm ugly. He made me lay on a couch, face down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect. No respect at all, you know? The time I was lost on a beach, and a cop had me look for my parents. I said to the cop, I think we'll find them. He said, I don't know, kid, there's so many places I could hide. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my old man, he didn't help either, you know? The time I asked my old man if I can go ice skating on a lake, he told me to wait till it gets warmer. <laughs> I'll tell you, sometimes I can't take it no more. Well, today I got two kids and that's rough too, you know. You can't talk to kids today. My boy's birthday last week, had a little party, brought out the cake, the kid blew out all the candles. I said to him, I hope your wish comes true. He said, if it does, that's the last time you'll watch me blow out candles. <laughs> Jeez. A smart kid I got, you know. Like the last time I took my kid to Coney Island, I asked him if he wanted to go in a crazy house. He told me to save my money, we'll be home soon. <laughs> Day, dude. In like two and a half minutes, he said like 20 jokes. Oh, that's an exaggeration. Yeah, great. Man, yeah. it's phenomenal. Hey, here we are out with a couple of blondes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's good to see you again. Oh, I've been a long you. time. I always get a kick out of coming out here. They treat you right over here. There's yeah. one place they treat you right. You know, I leave, leave a club. I close this week in a club in New York. I, but I'll be back next Monday. You just close the, night. Lock it up completely? I lock the whole thing up for a week. Now I'll come back next Monday night, September 9th, and tell my jokes are going to Dangerfield. But it's always a kick to come out here. Yeah. Right? 
I love it out here, you know. I like to go to Vegas, too, you know. Do you? I'm going to Vegas for, for a couple of days. I always go over there. You meet so many wonderful, wonderful people in Vegas, uh -huh. Johnny. No idea. Want to, can, you, can you tell us about a few of them? Well, <laughs> last time I was there, I met a lovely girl. Uh -huh. Oh, a lovely girl. Valerie Dubois. Valerie Dubois. Oh, lovely girl, Valerie Dubois. In fact, she told me to call her VD for sure. <laughs> Did you, Valerie Dubois? Wow. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Vegas, yeah, really uh -huh. nice, Oh, Vegas really swings. They got the gambling there, the Wild. big hotels and yeah. nightclubs. Oh, that's what big nightclubs they got there. Yeah. So it isn't really so different than the places I worked when I broke in. You know, the tough places. You work in a little <laughs> joint, right? Oh, I work tough place. You know, places like Rosario's Rocket Room. You know. Rosario's oh, Rocket Room. <laughs> tough, tough. tough. Dominic's Atomic Bar and Grill. Oh, that was another one. Sure. Oh, Dominic, he was tough. Ooh, yeah. Tough, Dominic. tough on it. During the show, he used to yell at the axe all the time. Yeah. You know, when that guy was singing, Why was I born? He yelled out, Not to sing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> That's a real heckler, Dominic. Oh, yeah. Bad news, yeah. yeah. Tell you, show business, you gotta get the brakes. You gotta uh, get the brakes, Johnny. I would guess so, yeah. I never got the brakes, never. Really? As a kid, I never got the brakes either, never. This has been following you all your life, you mean? I was rough when I was a kid. Yeah. I was a kid the first time I had my picture taken. The pony threw me. Another one I should have You got to try them out of town, know. right? You can't, you can't bring well, them take in. Take them on a road to you. Take them on a road. You got to break right. them in. So you got to get the feeling you wasted your whole life. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's not easy. I got no respect the day I was born. Really? No respect. The doctor picked me up and smacked me. I found out the nurse. She got a few in too. You know? <laughs> Johnny liked that one. <laughs> we'll, we'll be we got to take a break here, but we were, <laughs> then we'll come right back and uh, find out how your health is, because I'm always interested. comes out so much, I feel like I'm doing a magic act up here. Well, <laughs> after this message of interest. <laughs> if you just happen to tune in late tonight, my guests are Miss Doris Day, Carol Wayne, and we are just listening to the trials and tribulations of Mr. Rodney Dangerfield as, as a young kid. <laughs> the trials and tribulations. Sometimes I think you... You're putting me on, but you did come from a rather oh, I had a very bad rough, background, very didn't you? I was a lonely kid, too, Johnny. Oh, yeah, was I lonely, 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 huh? Yeah. Even in a park, I had no friends. Really? I remember the seesaw. I had to keep running from one end to the other. You know? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's clever. <laughs> that's lonely. That's sad. I grew up, I was lonely, too, and I grew yeah, up. Yeah. I couldn't get dates with girls. Girls didn't? No, but girls, they go for a guy with looks. Everything is looks, looks, you know? Yeah. But this thing's more important than looks. It's underneath what counts, soul, depth. Right. That's what's important, not looks. Now, how many times take a walk in the street, you see a tall, handsome man walking arm in arm with a short, fat, ugly girl? I never saw that. Did you never saw that, that at all? <laughs> never saw that. <laughs> of course. Probably had no soul or any depth there. Or anything no, but looks don't mean nothing. Man, I got a niece, an ugly girl. She got married. She's happy. She married an ugly guy. Right. And today they got two very ugly kids. Ugly kids, yes. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, they're all so ugly in a family album. They only keep the negatives. <laughs> That was good. I like, I I like that one. Looks is love. That was good. Love. love is and important. I got plenty of love in me, Johnny. Plenty of, I love a lot of things. Love. I love sports. I love music. And right. one of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids Bro, he, he like doesn't kids. stop. Holy crap. Kids. I know that. Kids, of course, but our boy gives me trouble lately. Like, yeah, really? He's at the age now he copies everything. He sees something, he copies it, you know. This oh. kid imitates everything. Yeah. Right? That's why we got rid of the dog. Yo, I... <laughs> Oh, they're very impressionable at that age. The peculiar feeling is your son standing there with one leg up. Yes, I know what you mean, of course. Oh, dude. No very offense. Tough. But how? Okay, look, how does he call to memory every joke and deliver it so perfectly and so precisely? Holy smokes, dude. I'm starting to become like, it's not just that the jokes are funny, it's how the heck do I talk like that? Holy smokes. I'm going to go with the dog, I'm just kidding around, yeah. that's all you know. How's your... How's your health? Are you in good, are you in good health? My health? Very good, very good. There's no love in the house. That hurts my no health. No love in the house. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, we weren't ready to go to health yet. To to ah, I didn't know. I, didn't know. Health, I see. Okay. Sure. There's no love in the house, you know. Um, you know, my wife's the easiest person to get along with. You know that. She's, yeah. Oh, my wife, you kidding me. Uh, I can tell you stories of my wife sometimes. Yeah. Or else we'll have a few drinks sometime. I'll start talking. Really? When I drink, I talk, you know. I didn't. Well, my wife's a cold person, Johnny. Cold. I'm sorry. Well, her side <laughs> of the water bed is frozen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very cold place. I never got love when I was a kid. What's up with water beds in my the 70s? The no, because he was much neater than I was. My room was messed up, but it didn't care. My 70s, 80s, was sorry. His towels lined up neatly, combs, brushes, hair lotions all in the right place. So what did it mean? What is he today? He's an attendant in a men's room. It didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm 
It's embarrassing having a brother works in a men's room. People say, hey, Rodney, what can I watch your brother do? I don't know what to say. I tell him he's a business for himself. You know? Yeah, that's good. That's good. They say, yeah, what can a business? A big business? Well, I'll put it this way. If you closed up tomorrow, a lot of people would suffer. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but the whole thing is, you want to be happy? Do the work you like. That's what you're going to do. The work you like. Yeah. That's important. Do the work you like. And my friend, the doctor... Don't mind me doing my knit. My chin tucks. My back hurts. How is the doctor? The, the most doctor. important thing is never take your work home with you. A lot Don't of take guys, your work they, home. They take their work home with them. Right. There's a guy in my neighborhood, a traffic cop, a traffic cop for 20 years, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Can't forget he's a traffic cop. Takes his work home with him. It's ridiculous. Makes love to his wife. He tells her to pull over. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. It's very bad. I don't want to like that word. I but thought it, that one was good. As long as you have your health, I suppose. Health that's is the most important thing. You know that, Johnny. Health. I mean, you just mentioned before, but tennis. I mean, you got to cut out tennis for a while. I but do, tennis yeah. is very good. When you get back in shape, play tennis is very good. I don't play tennis. I can't play tennis. I'm not the tennis <clears throat> type, you know. Yeah. Tennis, you gotta be rich and come from Connecticut, you know. Hard with a few dad's car, that's deuce, you know, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit you. Not from Stanford, though. <laughs> now, but tennis is good, that's how you lose weight, you know, you burn up uh, energy, you lose calories that right. way. All, doctors say all kinds of exercise is great. You burn up uh, energy, you lose calories. Right. I mean, sure. in fact, doctors say when a man likes, makes love to a woman, he burns up energy, he loses 150 calories. I made love to a girl once, I lost even more. I lost 150 calories, my watch, and my watch. <laughs> <laughs> now, but you gotta eat the right food. Right, fish. food, fish is fish. very good. Fish. Fish is fish. important. Seafood, brain seafood, brain food. Johnny. Yeah, seafood, brain food. very good. I know me, I love seafood. Uh -huh. I don't like seafood restaurants. Oh, really? They no originality. They all yeah. got the same sign, you know? The fish you eat today slept last night in some bay. You know? I'll tell you, when I order fish, I'm only interested in how it's prepared. Mm -hmm. I don't care where the fish slept, if it slept, who it slept with, it makes no <laughs> In fact, I think a fish will taste much better if it was bad morally. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> Any moral fish is probably better. Fish is very good, yeah, though. Yeah, I don't yeah. like classy restaurants. Those classy seafood restaurants. Uh -huh. I mean, you Dude, Johnny Carson doesn't have to ask or say anything. <laughs> And once I was out with a girl and I was trying to impress her. I like this girl too, Johnny. Yeah. I took her to a nice place, had a few drinks, relaxed. It was beautiful, right. you know. Trying to impress the girl. It was nice, romantic, it was gorgeous. No way to came over, you know. Are these two okay? <laughs> 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 I mean, the lobster came, I was really finished. I was trying to impress the girl how manly I was. You know, I sat in a manly position. I looked at her very manly. Right. And then the waiter put a bib on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like classy restaurants. You don't like classy restaurants. I like to eat home. Home. Home, I don't have to worry about a tie and a jacket, nothing. You know, you want something else, no big production of <clears> waiters. <throat> I open a refrigerator, I see what's around. Right. If I got a refrigerator home, it's, I can't figure it's very deceiving. Oh. My refrigerator, it's always full, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> we got things in our refrigerator like uh, a half a bottle of flat soda, <laughs> a cup with a broken egg in it. Broken egg has been laying there for four months, just waiting for someone to scramble. Right? <laughs> we have one bottle of ketchup that we use, then we have another bottle of ketchup, it's almost empty. It's been there now for a year and a half. <laughs> and there's one thing more in our refrigerator, a big pot takes up a whole shelf. And the only thing that's in this big pot is a half of boiled potato. <laughs> and with my wife, you know, since I'm married, after every meal, I hear the same thing. Finish it, only gonna throw it out. Somehow I get the feeling she only gives me to eat what she's gonna throw out. Well, it's really annoying with my wife, the way she serves a meal. Serves Ooh, badly? Terrible. No. I mean, you put down a steak. How do you forget the plate? <laughs> well, that was impressive, bro. Okay, I can see. So I, I, I'm, I'm remembering. I watched a Mitch Hedberg video, and y'all said, you got to check out Rodney Dangerfield. And now that makes sense. Shoot, I should have kept track, because that's, that's, that was incredible. Oh, man, I'm so impressive, like, how many jokes he spits out. And, again, doesn't forget anything, man. Really motivates us to whatever our craft is. Perfect it. Practice it. Review it. Thanks for the recommendations and the suggestions, guys. If there's something else I should watch, <laughs> send them my way. Um, I'm going to add some more of his videos uh, to my queue because I, I really, really enjoyed that. All right, guys. Much love. I believe in you. Peace.